the red dot. Okay. Hi everybody, this is Gary Fong and I want to show you the Chrome Dome and uh, how it works in doing a really large group photo. So what I'm going to do is, um, I've got, uh, I don't know, a bunch of people here and I've got a pretty wide angle zoom lens. Now, I'm going to um, put the Chrome Dome on. What the Chrome Dome does is it basically takes the light and raises it above, so you can see kind of like, uh, versus if I were to shoot it straight on, if I were to shoot it straight on, it uh, comes right at the subject in a very, very harsh manner. So what the Chrome Dome does is it actually takes the light and brings it up way above the uh, flash, and then it'll give a very soft lighting. Now, the reason why it's also important is because I've got a really wide-angle lens, and typically what happens on these um, flashes, that they only zoom out to 28 millimeters, with the Chrome Dome, you get the same uh, functionality of a light sphere. As you can see, the light kind of goes all the way around the room, and then light goes through the top, so that we can also light the top. Now, there's not a lot going on here because of the ceilings, which is fine, but um, we still have some white beams and things like that to give it more uh, light in the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a shot direct flash forward to show you um, what it would typically look like with, without the uh, chrome dome, and then I'll do one with a light sphere and the chrome dome and show you the difference. Okay, everyone. Okay, so here's the first one. Oh, wow. And here's the second one. Perfect. All right, so there's a lot of people in here. So now we're going to put on like this. Well. Okay, here we go. Ready, everybody? Ready. Good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so um, what you see here on the top is the uh, direct flash, and you'll notice that it's very, very hot in the center. Um, and that it uh, is a little bit darker off with a fall off on the side. Plus it has a very, very specular look. It looks kind of like I'm driving a car he with headlights right at you. Now down here on the bottom is the uh, light sphere with the chrome dome. And actually you can see in the mirror <coughs> up here and down here how much larger the light source is. <coughs> so, uh, pardon my coughing. So with this larger light source, uh, what it's doing is it's giving me a more round of a light. Now, uh, on the top here, you'll see that uh, this lens was probably about, uh, it's pretty wide angle judging by the distortion. I think it was uh, equivalent to 24 millimeters. Down here, uh, same thing. But on the uh, Canon, the current 580EX2, which I use there, um, the, the zoom only goes out to 28 millimeters. So notice the people on the side and the overall illumination. And that's what you get with the uh, lights for collapsible with the chrome dome, which elevates the light uh, above the flash and then uh, sp spreads it out across the room uh, so that you don't get that sharp uh, bright spot in the center.